custom enclosure, custom heat sink. Beautiful, installed. Dual VESC 6 Mark III. Nice. people and all the fanatics of electrical skateboarding Pavel here again welcome back to my channel next video today we're going to talk about uh, heat sinks for uh, VESC uh, 6 Mark 3 or Mark 4 uh, these were custom made for for us in this case freedom group I kind of came up with an idea and before just ordering one for myself I thought why don't I ask people and yeah 12 people backed me so we ordered 12 of these units and they did come in, all of them, really, really nice. Every unit will come with a set of screws that you require to actually install uh, the uh, VESCs onto the heatsink and also to install the heatsink onto your enclosure. There were some people who did criticize the idea because obviously I do uh, like upload stuff on Instagram and uh, different, uh, different media uh, uh, platforms. Uh, so just to explain uh, the, my thoughts behind this idea. Yes, Vesca 6s by Trampa, they do come with the heatsink already. Okay, that's that aluminium box. That is awesome. But if you are using the, uh, the Vesks on actual Trampa, uh, they probably designed, or I think they are designed so that uh, the aluminium is actually pushed to external so the heat can get away. I do, I do love DIY, yeah, and uh, as you know, I'm going to be installing the VESCs into the fully sealed fiberglass enclosure. So what's the point having the uh, heat sinks if you're actually going to enclose them inside fiberglass enclosure? The heat is going nowhere. Plus inside this enclosure I have my battery, I got my switch, I got my receiver, so the least heat inside there the better it is in my opinion so the only way to actually get the heat out is to get something that can absorb heat and actually transfer it outside and this is where the ribs come very handy because this is going to dissipate the heat having the cuts increases the uh, surface contact surface with air and the cuts actually going to protrude through the enclosure outside uh, this little lip all the way around is going to give me a chance to seal it to the enclosure. So it's going to be completely watertight and we'll get rid of that heat. Not just from the uh, VESCs, but also from the actual heat inside the enclosure. Because it's going to uh, get soaked into the quite heavy. This here is 350 gram of aluminium and it needs to be heavy because it needs to have enough bulk to soak in the heat. And then uh, the radiator side is just going to dissipate it into the air, especially when you're moving, it's actually going to be blowing at it. So that's my idea. And uh, this will be available soon on actual 3D services website. Uh, you're not going to get them as cheap as we did on Escape Freedom, but well, we backed the idea. We gave the idea to Escape Freedom to, uh, sorry, to uh, 3D services to come up with this, which is great. So we get a bit of a discount. So us lucky ones get 20% uh, off. Brilliant. Uh, we'll be... Uh, sending this out uh, starting Monday. Yeah, there's some from Italy, Belgium, uh, there's a couple of like European countries. If they go into Czech Republic and bits and pieces, so don't worry, it's coming out to you. By the way, to uh, everyone who's curious, there's no profit. I just done it for the love of the hobby. Yeah, it's just uh, exactly what I paid for these because I had to actually pay for all of them at once to get the uh, the discount, uh, plus a little bit of uh, postage. Whatever it is, I'm gonna send you the receipts out. Well, and that's it really. <laughs> the quality is absolutely perfect. I did request for the screws to be black. So as you can see, this is now two uh, VESCs installed. And that's how they're going to look like. And another big, big plus. Normally, uh, I think most of the DIYers, what we do with these Cs, especially if they like uh, uh, not the tramper ones, for instance, or not the unit that got the fixing screws, uh, you pretty much use either double-sided tape or you use Velcro, so you kind of stick them inside the enclosure. Well, I kind of got to the point uh, after building multiple boards that I want 
my latest boards or these new boards to be absolutely beautiful from outside and also on the inside so when you open up the enclosure everything is neat and tidy uh, there's no blobs of silicones holding stuff down everything is actually purposely secured okay like you would see on most of the uh, production boards so imagine inside the enclosure you will have something like this nice and neat that's all you got to do because the ECs or VESCs are now fixed to the plate plate is fixed to your enclosure so nice and nice and clean perfect so if you need a uh, heat sink uh, well head on to uh, Genius Services website and order yourself one of these you're not going to be lucky enough to have Escape Freedom engraved blaze engraved on it it's going to be our 3D Services logo well unless you're willing to pay for a lot of them and get them uh, custom made that's it guys, uh, please ride safely, please build safely, please enjoy your life, please enjoy Elastical Skateboarding, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, anyway, see you soon guys, bye. One good advice guys, when you actually cut for the, uh, the hole for the uh, heat sink, go a little bit smaller, yeah, so when you do your uh, template, and you mark it out, cut on inside of the marker pen, not outside. It's quite easy to uh, work with the uh, fiberglass and you'll need that space or that half a mil millimeter to kind of by hand finish off the, uh, the cut. Main cut I made using the uh, uh, Dremel, you know, glasses and gloves please guys and also the, uh, the mask, really good mask because this dust is nasty. And then the final uh, final touches are by hand. So I'm trying to get it as tight as I can. So I'm checking it. So it drops on one side. I just need a little bit. Just here somewhere. And that's it. Because you don't want the massive gaps all the way around. Take your time, you know. Enjoy the DIY. Don't rush. It's the best part of it. Look at that perfectly cut window and when I say perfectly this is when you hear this click when this heat sink jumps in because it's going to be nice and tight there we go oh look at that perfect no massive gaps to seal Beautiful. Hey, and it protrudes quite nicely as well. Not too much, but enough for the air to travel. And this is how the perfect cut looks like. Look at that. No spaces. Beautiful. Okay guys, so this is pretty much how the uh, heat sink looks like after it's installed. It does protrude quite nicely. The fins are out and uh, yeah, with the four screws, use the black ones, uh, the lock washer and a normal washer. I have ordered some of these, you know, the uh, countersunk washers, uh, because I'm using the same for the actual enclosure, so I might put four under them screws, but in M4. I don't know, I'll see. But I think black ones kind of hides it nicer. So, uh, just to mention, I have used a gasket, I don't know if you can see it or not, but in between the heat sink and the enclosure, I've got a uh, like a rubbery gasket like this self-adhesive so no water gets in and also I'm trying not to use uh, like a uh, hot glue or silicone or anything like that on the builds because it makes it just neater especially if you have to take it apart it makes it easier as well and now we're going to install the uh, VESCs with provided bolts and just a little dab of uh, thread lock uh, to hold them in place very happy. Looks neat.
Okay, and the last look then. Uh, the heat sink. Now with all the screws in. And dual vesks. Neatly installed. Look how nice this is now. Nothing needs to be glued, stuck down or whatever. It's there. That's it. Fixed. It's not going anywhere. Lovely. Aha! So you are still watching. That means you are interested in this uh, part. That means you probably want a bit more info. So, let's see how heavy this heat sink for VESC 6 is actually in real life. It is 359 gram of solid high quality aluminium. So the heat will be dissipating really, really nicely. The holes are threaded for you already, pre-threaded. So when you fit it to the enclosure, yeah, there's no nuts uh, to worry about. Ha. So physical sizes. So this is your, I don't know, width, I guess. So the width of this enclosure, uh, sorry, uh, heat sink is 100 and 45 millimeters so 14 and a half uh, centimeters this way it is 95 millimeters and thickness thickness is roughly about 15 mil I would say hold on let's not do roughly let's do exactly and the thickness of it is 13.2 millimeters and the thickness of this uh, wall they're actually going to stay inside the enclosure it's 5.4 there we go now you know everything and I think the cost of these uh, from uh, 3D services later on will be 45 or 50 euros plus 22% uh, tax uh, the VAT and uh, yeah it needs to be paid plus obviously delivery uh, whatever it costs uh, to send it. Well, that's it.